This is a patient with pseudoexfoliation syndrome and glaucoma. The lens bag complex is dislocated inferiorly due to zonular laxity. And uh, here we're going to lasso the lens and do a GAT procedure, uh, gonio-assisted transluminal trabeculotomy. I've used a Krugelin hook to push the iris away and inspect where I'm going to operate from. And here I'm making a radial scleral groove with a diamond blade. I'm going to puncture through the scleral groove uh, about three and a half and two millimeters posterior to the limbus. So I have uh, openings to uh, make my lasso suture uh, come through. This is a 30 gauge needle that I bent using a needle holder and I'm passing a Gore-Tex suture into the lumen of the 30 gauge needle. I'm now going to pass the 30 gauge needle through the sclerotomy that I've created about three and a half millimeters posterior to the limbus uh, in the radial groove. This is going to go under the lens bag complex and poke through the lens bag complex between the haptic and the optic. I can now stabilize the lens with a second instrument, an MST micrograsper, and grab the Gore-Tex suture as the needle passes it through the capsular bag. I'm now going to uh, remove the 30 gauge needle and come through the uh, sclerotomy I've made about two millimeters posted to the limbus using a 25 gauge forceps and retrieve the suture so that it's now wrapped around the haptic through the capsular bag. So now we've last sued the superior haptic. We're going to do the same thing 180 degrees away. This is a second radial groove made uh, 180 degrees away using a diamond blade. Uh, this is done freehand about half thickness. I'm going to puncture once again about three and a half millimeters and two millimeters posterior to the limbus. And once again, I'm going to use a 30 gauge needle with the uh, Gore-Tex suture in the lumen to introduce that suture under the capsular bag through the capsular bag complex between the optic and the haptic of the lens. Notice how I'm going to use the forceps in the right hand to uh, put the lens in the position that I want it to best center it. So I now grab the suture with the right hand and now I can uh, retrieve it with the left hand coming through the uh, superior part of the radial groove, the sclerotomy that I made previously. I'm going to push down a little bit on the lens bag complex with a Sinsky hook to create some space, grab the suture, and now this is lassoed. So now we're going to adjust the tension on both of these sutures to center the lens, and I'm going to use a slip knot. These are two single throws in the same direction, and this can be adjusted, as you're going to see here. It's a little uh, too tight here, pulling the lens uh, up a little bit superiorly, so I'm going to loosen a little bit. And now we'll let that sit there like that and do the other side. And this, uh, when I tighten the other side, we'll pull the lens bag complex over and center it. So now I'll do two interrupted throws here in the same direction to create a slip knot on this side. Then I can adjust the tension on both sides, center the lens, and lock it in place. So here I'm going to lock the superior suture with a reverse throw and then another reverse throw. We'll cut this short and tuck the knot into the eye, as you see. Right here, using the 25 gauge forceps. So that gets pushed into the eye. And then the same thing on the other side. We're gonna lock this with a reverse throw, and then another reverse throw. Cut this short. and then we can push this knot through the sclerotomy into the eye and the uh, suture will sit at the base of the radial groove. We're going to close conjunctiva on each side and now we can focus on the GAT procedure. I'm melting the tip of the fibroproline suture with a hot tip cautery and I'm going to place the suture through a paracentesis into the anterior chamber. 
This is a 25 gauge needle that I'm going to use to score trabecular meshwork and uh, unroof Schlem's canal so I can get into the uh, Schlem's canal with that suture. I'm using the uh, gonio lens to see uh, the structures and the angle. Uh, I've now opened up Schlem's canal and I'm going to pass the fibroproline suture into the lumen of Schlem's canal and using the 25 gauge forceps I'm going to feed this suture into Schlem's canal and let it work its way around 360 degrees. And I'll just keep pushing this in until the other end of the suture appears coming out the other side of the opening that I've created. Right about here you can see the other end of the suture coming into view. So now I can grab that with my 25 gauge forceps and when I pull on the other end of the suture as you see here with the second forceps I'll create a 360 degree goniotomy. I find this particularly effective in patients with pseudoxfoliation and pigment dispersion glaucoma. We'll now remove the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber. You can see how nice and stable the lens bag complex is. And you can see some blanching of the perilimbal uh, vasculature from the flow. That shows that the uh, fluid is getting through into Schlem's canal and the collector channels. And the case is completed. Thank you for your attention.